Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sportscape. Some final thoughts now. The Red Wings. I have to apologize to some within the Red Wings organization who called me out on it after the first week. They went 0-2, and, and I called them the Dread Wings. Let me be first and foremost to congratulate you on going on a six-game winning streak until last night and shutting me up and getting me back on the bandwagon. John, this team has been fantastic. They lost a stinker at home last night, one nothing to the Boston Bruins, but six in a row in the NHL in today's game with the travel schedule and, and the scoring. and It's Absolutely. unbelievable. The biggest thing is great goaltending. If you've got that, there's no position in sports the equivalent. A quarterback, if you don't have one, you can hand off. Pitcher goes every four days. Goal you can't hide, and he plays every night, and right now they're getting great goal at Peter Morazic and Jimmy Howard have to be combining for the best save percentage in the NHL. As far October, yes. Yeah, for <laughs> October. Now, it is early, but do you like what you see with this Red Wings team right now? They're tougher, they're meaner, and again, the goaltending seems confident. Yeah, the spread out of everything is what's going to really help this team. And when everybody struggles, the team will struggle overall. When everybody's playing well, You'll see success, like six-game winning streaks. By the way, Jack, you got to talk about something that's going on uh, in Chicago because uh, there's some unhappy people there. Right I now. think this is no question the number one national story. Uh, can I praise a team from Cleveland? Is that okay? You're, you're allowed to do, it. do that. <laughs> uh, yep. The, Judges the fact say that yes. They were 14 and four against the Tigers and 14 and five against the Royals, and now they're going to go right. through. The, they haven't won it yet. The last game is always the hardest to win, but hey, Cleveland looks terrific, and the way they're using the bullpen. I think you see uh, Tito Francona, the way he's done this. Uh, they are one win away from creating a lot of unhappiness in the city of Chicago. Yeah, there would be some irony, though, if the Chicago or a Cleveland team went up 3-1 to one in a series and, and then lost. lost it because <laughs> the basketball team came back from a 3-1 to one deficit. Jack, John, thank you guys so much. As always, welcome on this couch whenever you guys please. Thank you guys so much for joining us at home. Enjoy your football Sunday and maybe even a Lions win. Red Wings tonight, Pistons tonight as well. Have a great Sunday.